Hey guys, welcome to my 36 week bump date. We are heading into the final stretch. I think I say that every week, but it really truly is like the final stretch. Like 37 weeks is technically full term. So technically baby could be here anytime. I'm hoping she's coming sooner rather than later, but if she's anything like my first two pregnancies, it's still a while. I will have more information on my 37 week update because I go to the doctor in a few days to get checked. I'll see how far dilated I am and hopefully kind of come up with a plan. I don't know how early they'll let me be induced, but as early as they'll let me, I'm gonna take it. So baby is the size of a ro head of romaine lettuce. It says the baby's about six pounds now, so definitely would be fine on her own if I gave birth. Baby's lungs are now ready for the outside world. The bones are hardening, which I feel like they've been hardening. And also baby's making that first poop called meconium. So not really too much more developmentally, just like finishing things up. I've been doing okay. I've been feeling baby a lot, which is really helpful and reassuring. So I haven't had any problems there. I've been experiencing a ton of Braxton Hicks. They happen all the time. One day I had them a whole bunch, but unfortunately nothing has like manifested, obviously, into like real contractions. So it's just a lot of tightening, but no pain. I've been trying to encourage labor. I went and bought dates from the grocery store and I've been trying to eat them, but you guys, they are so nasty. Oh, I cannot. You're supposed to have six a day and I'm barely doing one a day. They're so gross. I've also been walking. I plan on going on a walk after this. Also nipple stimulation I have been doing and I guess there's like YouTube videos where you can like look up like different exercises to do to try to bring on labor. So I'm gonna look that up soon and apparently there's some Starbucks drink that you need to get to put you into labor. So I need to go and check that out. <clears throat> like I said, I'll definitely have more information on Monday when I go to my doctor and she checks my cervix. I'm really hoping all these Braxton Hicks are doing something. I'm gonna be super disappointed if I go and I'm like not even dilated. I don't think that's true though. I think I'm at least one centimeter, but I guess I don't really know. We'll see. In preparation of that appointment, I am going to use the next couple days to get ready for baby. Uh, I plan on installing the car seat, setting up the bassinet. My mom is sending bedding, so I'm gonna do the crib. I need a kick porter out of the crib and into his new big boy bed, which is the bunk beds we have set up. I also wanna set up like our pack and play because I usually use that as a diaper changing station, uh, the swing, so all that good stuff get the bottles ready, get my breast pump ready, like just have it all ready to go, just in preparation for what my next doctor's appointment is gonna show. I've not had any headaches. I've had a ton of heartburn. I take Tums all the time now, several times a day. It just is what it is. It's just super annoying. I'm so tired of it. Still dealing with like pregnancy, no stuffiness that's super annoying everything's just like really getting on my nerves like I'm just tired of it all my belly is huge uh, let me do a 36 week bump I'll show you guys what it looks like so here is my belly it is huge first of all this shirt does not help it's like super tight it's super thin and stripes don't help either so it makes me look that huge but i am huge so here it is 36 week bump big belly so anyway the belly makes it very hard for me to get up uh, out of bed to roll over from side to side i'm getting up once if not twice a night to pee i pee all the time a lot of it's like the same symptoms, just like kind of getting worse as time goes on. My boobs have felt sore. They're starting to leak. So 
so I mean, I guess that's good. It means like my body's getting ready to make milk, so that's encouraging. Definitely finding myself having to sit a lot more, especially after I like get a couple things done, I have to sit because I just get so wiped out. Definitely by the end of each day, I am just spent uh, after taking care of the boys and running around and doing errands and whatnot. Like I'm just so tired at the end of every day. Uh, usually by bedtime, I barely have enough energy to like get the boys in bed and do the bedtime routine. Anthony's parents did take the boys this weekend, so they are gone. So this is Anthony and I's kind of last kid-free weekend for a while. So we're just gonna soak it all up. We're gonna go on a date and hopefully he can help me try to set some things up for baby girl. Another thing we need to finalize this weekend is baby's name because we really need to figure that out. I do not want to go into labor not having a name picked out. So that is on our to-do list as well. I did get a leg cramp the other day, which has not happened for weeks. So that was kind of odd, but it was just like the one random leg cramp. Other than that, really hasn't been too bad. I have been finding I can't like lean back on the couch and stuff like that and put like, um, too much pressure on my back because it makes me kind of lightheaded and dizzy and uh, it gives me, like I have a hard time breathing. Um, so yeah, I, I either have to sit up straight or hunched over. Uh, I cannot put too much pressure on my back, which I think is kind of a thing like you're not supposed to lay on your back because then you could like cut off circulation or something with a main vein or something like that and so that's why you're supposed to sleep on your side so i think it's just the same as like me like reclining on the couch i'm definitely done being pregnant so ready for her to be here so ready for me to not just constantly be in pain and uncomfortable so I'm definitely ready for her to come. I'm a little nervous to go into labor just because I'm worried that I'm not gonna know when it's actually labor, like my last time. My first time I was induced, my second pregnancy, I was in denial and thought it was just Braxton Hicks until it was too late. And then I basically went into labor, into the hard part of labor so fast that I didn't have time for an epidural and we were like minutes away from having the baby in the car instead of the hospital. So I'm a little nervous for that to happen again. I guess I have a higher pain to tolerance than I think I do. So it'll be very interesting to see like how this labor goes. So I'm trying to be mindful when I have Braxton Hicks and try to see if they're painful, if they're come like what the frequency is of them but so far they've just been pretty blah pretty um just one every so often i do find that i get more of them if i do like nipple simulation or if i have been like walking around a lot so it's definitely helping i don't know how much it's progressing me i guess i'll find out on my doctor's appointment i have been noticing that i've been wanting to snack a little bit more especially on like desserts and things like that candy i gave up cookies for a lot but a lot of more ice cream than i used to so definitely getting in more calories than i have in the past baby girl still gets hiccups all the time i think she's head down we're gonna confirm that at my next doctor's appointment so i will definitely let you guys know but i'm pretty sure she is her hiccups and stuff, I feel very low, so it makes me think she's head down, but I guess we will see for sure. My doctor's office doesn't do like a last ultrasound, so I think it's just like the doctor feeling around and, and probably where the Doppler is and all that stuff, I don't know. I think they'll be able to figure it out. So definitely stay tuned for my next uh, update because I'll have a ton of information for you guys as soon as I have that doctor's appointment and hopefully I can either get some good advice on how to make the baby come or when we can start scheduling an induction or just things like that. I really, really hope this baby comes in March. We're in March now. It's March 9th. 
my due date is April 5th. So I'm really hoping she comes in March, but we will see what the cards hold. But I'm about to go outside. It's like 50, 52. Not the best, but I need to like try to get this baby to drop. I don't even, I don't feel like my bump has really dropped that much. So I need to try to encourage her to get out. <laughs> so I'm going to go walk, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, stay updated, wait for my next update, bump date, whatever. I'm going to have tons of information about where I'm progressing so far. So it's almost at the end. We're almost about to have this baby. Not too many more of these weekly updates to go. So it's very exciting time right now. But anyway, I'm going to get going. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.